Hello, welcome to Narnia's Guide to Calling on Aslan. Aslan is the lion who represents God, the Lord of Narnia. My name is Peter, and I'm not one of the apostles who first saw Jesus, but I'm probably based on one of the apostles that first saw Jesus. C.S. Lewis created the story of Narnia as an allegory because of his love for God and the Bible. Narnia is an allegory, a retelling of Jesus' life, his death and his resurrection in a way that is accessible for children and adults. Today we're thinking about the allegory of prayer. And we have Queen Susan with us today here to tell us all about it. Hello, Susan. Hello, Susan. Where are you, Susan? Oh, here I am. Wow, I've just got back from my adventure and... I think I must have slipped on the magician's nephew's magical ring and I transported myself here. Wow! Oh, it's been so important to me to keep in contact with Aslan through prayer during my adventures. Great! Wondered where you'd got to. It's great to have you with us. Can you explain to us how prayer works, how we call on Aslan in prayer, and who is beyond our world in the centre of our universe? Heaven! Oh, of course I can. That would be so great. And to start our thinking on prayer, I thought I would use my archery skills. Is that okay? So, let's see. Let's look now and see what Susan is about to do with her archery skills. Well, I've labelled some of myself and my equipment to help us. Firstly, my arm. Oh, my arm is faith. And here you have a mirror image of the word faith because I've labelled it the right way round but you're watching my reflection. Because we need faith. First of all, we need to exercise our faith in pulling back the arrow to send our prayer. And then we need the bow. The bow has the Holy Spirit because it is the Holy Spirit that guides us, that directs our prayers. And then we have... The arrow, which is the prayer itself that we send. The prayer is sent to the target of heaven. So I've labelled the target somewhere heaven. Because I don't know where that target is, but the target is in heaven. I've got the target here. Here's the target of heaven. Great. So let's see you in action with those arrow prayers. Okay. I'm going to send my arrow prayer through faith, pulling my faith back. Trusting my faith in the prayer will meet the target. We'll go this way first, shall we? Ready, steady, fire! Wow! Wow, I've targeted. I've fired my prayer. Wow! Where's it gone? It's hit the target. It's hit the target. Can you see that? It's hit the target right in the centre. Of course. It always hits. If you use faith and you trust the Holy Spirit to guide you, then the prayer always hits target of heaven. Okay, we're going to go a different direction now. Let's send my arrow prayer. Ready, steady, fire! Oh, wow! It's gone absolutely miles this time. Because we can pray for all types of different things and Aslan will always hear our cry. And each but time... It's right there in the centre, in the centre of it heaven. It hits the target. That is so amazing, isn't it? No matter where I aim, my faith sends the arrow to heaven through the Holy Spirit's direction. That's an incredible allegory for prayer. Absolutely. So... Um, Peter, I really probably need to get on now. I've got so many adventures to go on. I've got to go and defeat the White Witch. You know, probably I'm going to meet the horse and his boy in Prince Caspian. And I'm going to sail on the Dawn Treader. And I'm going to see the Silver Chair and fight the final battle. That's the last battle, isn't it? The last battle, that is. And Aslan will always be there helping me, of course, through prayer. So how are you going to do that? Through prayer. Because, Peter, we have to remember that life's adventure is based on recognising Aslan is with us through prayer. We just need to seek and find him. Wow. So before you go on an adventure, shall we, as you talked about seeking and finding... Shall we have a game of hide and seek? Oh, yes. I tell you what, I'm going to hide in the wardrobe. Okay, you count. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Susan, Susan, where have you gone? Susan, Susan, 
Oh, she's gone. Tenania.